Welcome back to Devotions from History. It's April 9th. In 1780, a wealthy printer in Gloucester, England, named Robert Rakes, was walking through a rougher side of town, and he noticed that the children, especially the boys, were foul-mouthed, dirty, ragged, and running wild. When he questioned where the parents were and why they were running about, a woman told him, look, these boys work 12-hour shifts in the factory six days a week, and afterward they get a little rowdy. You should see what it's like on Sundays around here. Well, Robert Rakes worked with men in prison there in Gloucester, and he knew that crime is better prevented than it is treated once it's already happened. And he got to thinking that something really needed to be done for these young boys of his community. They needed to learn simple moral lessons. They need to learn how to read, they need to learn how to write, and how to take care of themselves so that, so that they could be productive members of society. Well, since the boys worked six days a week, the only free day they had was Sunday. And so, Robert Rakes decided to set up a little school system on Sunday. And he set up some simple rules for them. He would give you a penny to come to his Sunday school, but you had to sit still and you had to listen. You had to come with a clean face and clean hands, and you had to comb your hair. And if you didn't have a comb, well, the first Sunday school prize was one comb for you. Well, Sunday after Sunday, the children around Robert Rakes grew and grew and grew. Finally, even the girls asked to come. And contrary to the taboos of his day, Robert Rakes opened up his Sunday schools to allow even the little girls to come. Now, a lot of people told Rakes he was wasting his time trying to teach the rabble children of his community. But Rake said to them, when Jesus said, let the little children come to me, he meant the dirty ones, the poor ones, the rowdy ones, and the noisy ones too. Now, on April 9th of 1811, Robert Rakes died, leaving behind what we know as the modern Sunday school movement that reaches across the world today. Mr. Rakes saw a need in his community and he decided to address it and do something about it. How about you? As you look around your community, can you see a need that needs addressing? Maybe it's something like what Mr. Rake saw. Maybe you see little children who need some teaching. Maybe you see an elderly person who could use a hand around the house. Maybe you see something going on in your city government that needs addressed. Whatever it is, history is just waiting for somebody like you to come along and make it happen.